Keep here live with Mindset Monday. And today we're gonna to talk about the ways that successful people approach life differently. Um, and you, you will get a, an email sent out too for those of you that are on my email list because I know that uh, you probably won't remember as you go through this. Anyway, I have found that successful people have a morning routine that usually includes meditation, exercise and reading something productive, uh, something where they're, where they're trying to learn something new or, or stay on top of their, something they're already involved in, that sort of thing. Uh, that morning routine uh, can make all the difference for people. Uh, number two, they watch their language. They watch what they say to themselves. They watch what they uh, internalize. They watch what they say to other people. Makes, uh, makes another big difference. Another thing I see successful people doing uh, that, that we really have to adopt is they argue for their greatness as opposed to their limitations. Do you ever hear yourself saying, I can't do that, um, uh, oh, that's just not for me, uh, oh, you're way better at that than me, that sort of thing? Those are just ways of arguing for your limitations. So just watch that because that is a really, really big one. Uh, they surround themselves with like-minded people. Uh, boy, I, I sure noticed a difference when I started up-leveling the people that I hang around with uh, because they, they make you think differently and they make you play a bigger game because um, they, they do think uh, bigger. And uh, sometimes when you're in a group of, uh, of really successful people, you realize how your thinking has kept you where you are. So that, uh, that's a big thing. And like-minded people are um, not not always in the same industry as you either. So keep that in mind too. Sometimes they uh, are in different industries and you can learn from them things that, uh, that you can apply to your business. Uh, number five is they have mentors and or coaches because you know what? If we have to learn through every single mistake we make ourselves, uh, it slows down our growth. If we can learn from other people, it really makes a big difference. And one of the th sayings that I've kind of always heard about uh, with coaches is they can see your future self while the people who know you best can see your existing self. So that's a really good one to think about. They read, uh, what, what's that saying? All leaders are, are all re leaders are readers. Um, that is a great way to learn. And uh, a lot of people listen to audiobooks for people who don't like to, to physically read or find it challenging to read. Uh, so I, I consider audio books and reading the same thing. Um, it's, uh, it, it, your mind works differently, but not everybody uh, can read. I know I much prefer reading, but not everybody does. So audio books work just fine. They get a good night's sleep, you know. Uh, if you're not sleeping properly, and some people only need five or six hours, uh, but if you're not sleeping properly, everything doesn't work right. So that's a really important one. Uh, they eat clean most of the time. You know, I, I've heard of people going through life where they're depressed and down and all that kind of stuff, only to find out that it's their diet. They eat crappy and uh, and it, it does go through your system. You know, if you're eating crappy all the time, you don't feel good. I know even times when uh, we, we eat pretty good, but every once in a while we'll be eating chips or drinking a few too many beers and you can notice the difference. So uh, watch that you eat clean most of the time. They continuously learn and then apply what they've learned. Like I know uh, many people will read and read and read and read and read, but not actually take any steps to make themselves better. So uh, that's the next one. Although you study, uh, you actually have to take the action steps that will make you better at what you're trying to learn. Um, the exercise, uh, you know, exercise is a great stress relief, not to mention uh, pain relief. You know, I've talked to many, many people who say if they don't exercise regularly, they start getting aches and pains. Um, so watch that. If you're starting to develop aches and pains that uh, you don't think should be there, how much are you exercising? Did you miss your exercise this week? Get in at least two, three days a week of something. And some people is just walking every day, but do it. Uh, it makes such a difference for you. Um, another thing that I noticed that successful people do is they listen to their inner voice. You know, uh, they pay attention 
to what that inner voice is telling them. Some people call it intuition. Some people call it uh, their, you know, uh, God speaking to them. Some people say it's the universe speaking to them. But your inner voice knows uh, knows things that you've got to learn to listen to. I found meditations made a huge difference for me to make it uh, to add that in. So that's another one, meditation. Um, I think that uh, even when I, I go back and read autobiographies of successful people, just about everyone has a meditation practice. So what does that tell you? Um, another one is that people work within their strengths. The successful people work within their strengths. Um, I know in school that you're taught uh, to work on your weaknesses. If you're not good at math, you should spend more time studying math. But you know, uh, I, can un I can understand where everybody needs to have a basic knowledge of everything. But as life progresses and you find out that you're good at certain things and not so good at other things, you've got to stop working in those things that are really difficult for you. That just causes a whole bunch of stress. So uh, if you can learn to work within your strengths, that's going to make a big difference. And also another one is um, uh, when you're working within your strengths is surround yourself with people who have different strengths than you do. You know, uh, I'm an eternal optimist. I always look for the upside. And, you know, I need to have people on my team who point out the downside uh, again and again because, you know, it's it's just a reminder that you need if, you, if you're an eternal optimist. And, and on the same side of the sense, if you're, or same side of the fence, if you're an eternal pessimist, you need people around you that can tell you how great things can be. So uh, keep that in mind too. Um, so uh, just, just to reiterate, I'm just gonna cover off the 13 I came up with today. Morning routine, they watch their language, they argue for their greatness, not their limitations. Surround themselves with like-minded people or up-leveling up -leveling people too. They have mentors or coaches. They read. They get a good night's sleep. They eat clean most of the time. They continuously learn and apply what they've learned. They exercise, listen to their inner voice, work within their strengths, and team up with different people who have different strengths. So hopefully you got value out of that today. And remember, if you need my help mastering your money mindset, because I do believe that that's 90% of your success, reach out to me at 90days2k.com and have a really, really good week. Bye for now. Hey, hi John, nice to see you on today. How's things going? Miss you on our Tuesday night calls.